Hi guys, how are you? Thank you so much again for stopping by. Um, and let's watch some cool videos, okay? Um, today, Pastor Chris Valentine, you know Bethel Church, right? In California. And he gave a, an apology because uh, Pastor Chris is one of those uh, prophets that actually came out and prophesied Trump won't be impeached, Trump will win re-election. Okay, those are the, the prophecies he gave and claiming God told him or showed him, okay? So he gave those prophecies before the elections and now that they failed, so he came in November and gave an apology. Obviously, if you do a research on him, a few days later, he took the, the videos down. He posted this video on, on, on Instagram, on his Instagram. Then he took the videos out after the apology. And then later on, he posted something that to explain why he took the videos. It was at a time he was saying, was arguing that, oh, vote, all the votes have not been counted. So I just didn't want to confuse people, but I will repost my apology if it turns out to be this. But he was in the right place. He's, I think he meant well, and I think he was sincere in this video. And I just hope that is still holding to that. And that's where I think a lot of prophets need to go back and start, okay? Not Chris Young's apology, I repent, which wasn't repentance. He he gave more false prophecies, uh, okay? More denial. It's like, I, I apologize for missing the timeline, confusing the timeline, but the content of the prophecy that Trump will, win, will be reelected, uh, it, it still stands. And it says this year, uh, so that's BS, but let's listen to Pastor Chris and then we will uh, um, we will analyze the claims, okay? And you guys can have, we can have a conversation about it. So let me just play from... All right, let's roll the tape. Good morning, Chris Valentin here. Well, first of all, I wanted to really congratulate uh, President Biden and tell him that I'll be praying for him as I did for President Trump and President Obama and also President Bush all these years. I've been if you guys don't know Pastor Chris uh, Valentin, uh, is a pastor of a big church known for music, worship music, uh, Bethel. Uh, Bethel music. A lot of their music is played in churches across the world. Praying for presidents, and um, I just want to say that I pray for your success. I pray for the success of our country, and I believe that the lot is cast and the decision belongs to the Lord. So you're not just the president of the United States, you're my president. I've said that many times with President Trump and President Obama. But secondly, I really want to apologize, sincerely apologize for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. Uh, I prophesied um, that Donald Trump would be president four days after he, uh, four days after he uh, took the no nomination. Uh, the first time, uh, four days after he declared himself a candidate, I should say, the first time. And um, I, that was obviously right. And then later on. So that a lot of prophets and uh, defenders of the prophets um, for this failed prophecy, right? They come out and say, hey, oh, this person uh, prophets are like um, um, Kevin, okay? I've done a, a prophet Kevin. Uh, I've done a video of him. He prophesied that Trump will win the first term and they they are emboldened after that that you know they will just say this and oh they were right then they can be right they can be wrong now now 
It's not. It's not a, a, a prophecy from God. So that's what Chris is trying to explain as well, because he did it then, and he's done it again, and thinking God is the one speaking through him. And I prophesied that he would uh, not be impeached, and in fact that he would win another term. And I was completely wrong. I take full responsibility for being wrong. There's no excuse for it. I, I think it, um, it doesn't make me a false prophet, but it does actually create a credibility gap. And a lot of, a lot of people trust me, trust my ministry. And, um, I want to say that I'm very sorry for everyone who put their trust in me and a false prophet. He says, I'm not a false prophet. You know, it, it just, it doesn't make me a false prophet, a prophet. All of these prophets failed, okay? And a lot of people actually, prophets there, that are so arrogant that they are not even willing to humble themselves and say, hey, I'm sorry I missed it. That, um, and then there was this um, major, major mistake. And I, I want to say, uh, I'm sorry. And I want to look into the reasons why there's a disconnection there in what I heard. And um, I have always believe that when you make a public declaration that if you get it wrong you have to make a public apology and i want to say that i've never had to do that before i've prophesied been 14 years working in the political uh, realm uh, never had to make a public apology for a, a, a bad prophetic word that i've given this is my very first time <laughs> i know i'll learn from it this is was a, a very big mistake and I hope that you'll um, forgive me and I hope that we can all learn from it. I've always been um, very disappointed when, when uh, I see political people, I mean prophetic people, make a big prophecy and then um, make excuses later on why it didn't come to pass, like, oh, God changed his mind or, you know, uh, well, I know that this was a somehow an ethereal thing or, and I'm just like, I, I've always said, like, if I ever make a public, if I ever get a public prophecy wrong, if I ever get a prophecy wrong, I will obviously uh, apologize for it if I get it. Obviously, that's where we are. A lot of prophets making excuses, okay, and blaming Trump for not having faith enough, for fight enough, for the people for not praying enough, for all kinds of things. That's what he's talking about. If I do public prophecy wrong, I will become accountable for it and uh, and I, I feel like that's the right thing to do and I want to demonstrate what I've taught for years. It is obviously humiliating. Um, I'm, I'm not mad because President, uh, because Biden became president. I'm very, uh, very, very um, humbled that um, this happened uh, in my in my ministry. Um, and I, again, I'm sure some of you have questions. Uh, maybe over the next couple of weeks, we'll talk about it. I've written three books on prophecy. I've talked in every single book about, you know, what do you do when you miss a prophetic word? Um, and how do you clean up your mess? And so this is the beginning of me cleaning up my mess. I think that going forward, that we need to, um, do the best we can to um, support our president. The Bible talks about praying for our president. We don't have to agree with him. Um, we don't have to agree with our, our public leaders, but we definitely are required by God to uh, pray for our leaders and to uphold them and pray for their success. I pray for the success of our country. Um, been praying that the division in our country would stop i'm i'm still very very committed to um and believe that this is a sovereign time this is a time of providence when god's very very involved in our country probably always but maybe we're just really aware of it or maybe i'm just really aware of it and i look forward to something powerful and profound happening in this season and um and i again um thank you very much for those that have been following me all these years, God bless you, and I hope that you uh, have a great day. Uh, keep hope alive, keep uh, faith alive, and, um, and we'll be talking again. God bless you.
by now. All right, guys, that's uh, Pastor Chris uh, Balaton, Bethel Church, huge church, very popular uh because of music especially so tell me what you guys think is this what a lot of prophets need to do who have given this false prophecy uh let's see where it goes right and if we don't face the truth and face the reality confront these issues we can be better people and that is my goal let's reconstruct our lives faith and politics shalom